Welcome to World Box. My name is Gorg, and we're making Clash Royale today. I'm telling you guys, if you're buying games still, you're wasting money. World Box, you can just make all the other games in it. It's easy. No more asking your mom to borrow her credit card. Just one-time purchase of World Box. I'm joking, of course. Uh, <laughs> you can't really make a full version of anything in World Box. Uh, it's pretty limited of what you can actually do, but you can get pretty close sometimes. If you've never played Clash Royale, I don't know what to tell you, but it's pretty straightforward. The objective is to destroy the other person's towers and castle. This is one side, this is the other side. This is the opponent. They're going down, bro. They're going down. So, the way I see it, there's really only one way to do this. Well, there's always multiple ways, but man, it'd be so nice if we could get the humans to make their main, like, village just here. Like, that'd be their only structure. Wouldn't that be just wonderful? This is really dumb, I get that, but if I can get them to build a structure right in the middle here, which it looks like they might be doing. Okay, I think that's actually close enough. I want it to be a little bit lower, but we're not going to be picky. We're going to say that's good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, thank you for your time. Now everyone's going to die, except for the people in the towers, which I accidentally killed one of them. So this is their home. Now we got to do the same thing over here. We could just do humans on the other side. It just makes it more complicated. Now let's do humans on the other side. I realize that I want it to be perfectly fair. I don't think it's going to be that much of a big deal. So let's put humans. Let's give them some trees. Okay, there we go. That's it right there. Everyone stop. It's magnet. Two of you. You and you. Everything else dies. This thing gets upgraded. Boom. We did it. Look at us. We're so smart. It's not centered. I know. That's as close as we're going to get. Be happy with it. <laughs> okay, so we have two opposing villages, right? We, we can set them to not like each other, right? If we place someone down over here, they join the village, which is great. It's going to be a little tricky. We got to basically make them go attack immediately. <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to work. Look at the visuals, though. I mean, come on. Give me some credit just for making it look good. Poof. Okay, it's going to be a little sloppy, but let's get this show on the road. <laughs> He's freaking making crops in there, man. I know I'm taking a little while, all right? But chill out, will ya? I don't want to see you making food again. Man, I wish we could use all this stuff without it blowing themselves up. We're just here for fun. We're not going to overthink it here. We're not going to make it some playable game that you could actually have a match with your friends in. It's not going to be that. We're just going to make it look as good as we can. So place one of these guys, place one of these guys. You're going to go here? Why did you go in the house? Come out. Can you come out now? There we go. Goodness. Okay. Everyone's outside. Let's line them up. He's over here planting crops again. Oh man, the necromancer would be perfect for the witch. It's disappointing. I hope that someday either a mod or a game thing where you can manually set who is on the same teams as each other. That's like something that could help us with all of these videos where we can just say, Hey look, I'm spawning a bunch of different creatures and wizards and stuff. And then I can just grab something and say, Hey look, they're all friendly with each other. And then I can do the same thing over here. They're all part of the same team. And then I can have them fight. That would be so nice to be able to manually set alliances. Someday, maybe. Let's give these people some stuff. Let's give you, uh, bloodlust. If this didn't just kill everyone, I would do this one. You are the wizard. Let's actually make this a group of barbarians. Silver, silver. I know what you're thinking. There should be one more. Okay, on this side. I wish I could make skeletons and not have them kill them. Human. They're silly. They're using the dual archers. No one knows why. Okay, and then this guy is... Oh, I know what. We got ourselves a giant. I think if we give him veteran, he gets even more health, right? Yeah. There we go. That's our first, <laughs> our first wave. This video is really only cool if you've played Clash Royale. Otherwise, it's just like a way more complicated version of the, of the normal world box game with just way more steps. Uh, let's save it right here because I don't want to ever have a point where I mess something up and can't undo it. Okay. <laughs> and now we force the two kingdoms to fight each other. I really hope this works. Otherwise, what a waste of time. Uh... Yeah, I mean, you could do that. You could. But hear me out. What if you don't? You could. You could plant crops. You could. But hear me out. What if you don't? You could. You could make that. Stop. <laughs> Now get out there and kill each other. Okay, we're doing this manually, boys. We're here for results. We're not here for a good time anymore. Grab you. Uh, why are there only three of you? I don't know where the fourth one went, but that's okay. Uh, archers, get ready to fight. You guys get ready to fight. 
There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Fight the giant. Fight the giant. Come on, push. Oh, I bet that makes you pretty mad, doesn't it? Now, what does that make you want to build a house no avenge your fallen brothers and sisters okay well <laughs> oh it was a nice idea huh it was a nice idea i'm not done yet though i've got a couple more things i think i can do so let's just do this world box style then we did it like as close to the game as we could but let's just throw that idea out and just do it world box style so we got food what do you kids like these days rocks maybe some gold maybe some silver nice all right let's let's give them some speed here let's let them actually build colonies doing this world box style let's actually go sonic speed i thought for sure i saw them ally for a second there and i thought that would be pretty bad i want you guys to never like each other this is why we should have done orcs how did you get over the wall? There's conflict. Oh, the blue team just took them out. Like that. Like nothing. Weren't you purple a second ago? Did they knock you over the wall and then you had to join them? All right. Well, uh, well, hmm. One more thing. I gotta do this for me. Let's block off the paths really quick and let's put in some humans and some orcs. That way they actually fight. Then let's put one orc in each of these, one human in each of these. Let's give bloodlust to everyone. And let's give bows to the tower guys and then let's let it go for a little bit at times five speed let's give everyone some coffee how about that and then once they've actually set up some camp we'll have them fight each other although i think the humans need a few more wow it's just like clash royale it's just like the app why are the orcs not building that thing okay well i'm not impressed so far by the orcs not progressing they need trees? What are you complaining about? I don't understand. Why would you not? Why are they not? What are they missing? I don't get it. Okay, well, they lose then. <laughs> there we go. They took like 20 years just to decide to be alive. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you guys are a little bit behind. Build, 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 build. I'm gonna actually help you guys out here because I realize that you got a way slow late start. But that's honestly no one else's fault but your own. But let's even it out here a little bit. There we go. Let's give them a little bit of time. Everyone gets bloodlust. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and go. I don't want it to be a huge war. They're not going to like instantly kill each other anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's slow it down first, shall we? Fighting on the bridge. Oh, the humans took them out though. Although the humans are so much stronger, I feel like. Because they've got stone swords. Look out. But we all know how the orcs are. They do not mess around. Oh, they're pushing them back. Tower. Doing its best. Can the tower defend the kid? Did you see that? There's a kid in there. <laughs> what are you doing in there, kid? When I grow up, I want to be trapped in a square just like you. Yeah, the archers did not defend. The orcs, as always, just swooped in and killed everyone. I felt like I balanced it pretty evenly, too. It seemed like both sides had about 20 people each, I would say. The orcs, I mean, now look at them. They've got like 30 just during the time of that attack, but orcs win. But hey, low-key though, this setup is kind of cool for like a Clash Royale inspired like mini village skirmish. You kind of block off the gap, let them advance, and then like you get a really quick fight. So this honestly, I'm keeping this map. This is cool. So that, I'm going to post this map on uh, Steam Workshop because I know everyone's going to want it. But I, I don't want you to have it already like half set up like that. So bada bing, bada boom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I, <laughs> it was kind of a half cooked idea. Usually I plan things out a little more before I start filming. Um, you can tell I already had made the map. So I did do some of that this time too, but I also started filming before I knew exactly how it was going to work. So you kind of got to figure it out with me. At the end of the day, we had a good time. I appreciate you for being here. Let me add some trees for you. Okay, Steam Workshop, here we go. Let's call it Clash Royale. Toyal? Gorg on YouTube. There we go. You're welcome. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time.